Yeah, so then, so let's get down to the thing. So now you're in L.A., mm-hmm. now you're in Cali. Uh, who's the artist? Like, I know Pink's, you start. Is that one of the first ones you really bonded with and start hanging out with? Or was there, was that one of the first ones you start clicking up with out here? You know what? I linked up with my boy Smitty out here. We met, um, and he started rolling with me. It was me and Smitty. And then um, after that, I met, well, I actually met Pink's a long time ago. We met at a car show. Okay. And I remember she came up to Which the car booth. show was this? I want to say, I want to say it was Vegas. The main one. The biggest okay, one. Okay, yeah. I Super think it was show. Vegas. And I was with, at a at a booth, that, you know, because I used to post up with uh, a boy's Crazy Joe. They would have a booth out there and I would go there to sell crazy my Joe CDs. From, uh, Denver. Denver. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crazy Joe from Denver. Yeah. Shout out to Crazy, out crazy Joe. Joe. Yeah, they showed me a you lot of You still need a book, me fool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, so Crazy Joe and all that and, uh. Yeah, so let's go back to Pink's now. So uh, so then you started basically hanging out with Pink's and a little bit more and stuff like that. Well, she came. this is how we first initially met. This was a long time ago at the Vegas Car Show. She actually came up to me mm-hmm. at the booth, and she had a CD in her hand, and she was like, hey, can you play my new single? And I was like, you know what? i never seen another chick at the car show slanging CDs besides me. Yeah. Like, I was always the only girl at the car show, right, yeah. with the music. And then I'm like, there's another one? I'm like, and she told you shit. to play her CD and asked me if I would play her single, Dang. and I was like, "Hell yeah!" She, like she's pressing on you. <laughs> That's right. And, and then I had to respect that too because <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, "Oh, she's a hustler like me." Okay, okay, you Hell know what yeah. I'm saying? So I was like, "Sure," and we played the single. So I didn't talk to her again. Yeah, I saw her at car shows and stuff. Didn't talk to her again until I was out here, and um, we did a show, I think, in Santa Ana. Okay. And it was. Yeah, I performed the Chino Grande song because he was locked up. Yeah. So I performed it. And I think this crazy was on there, La La Romero. Like, so Pink's came out. Mm. They brought Pink's out on stage. Gotcha. And then that's when we started talking mm, again. I think I heard about that. Yo Theater or something like that? Yeah. It's on my YouTube, I think. Yeah, Pink's yeah. is on stage with me vaping. Got, oh, got you, got you. Oh, that vape in those days? <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah. Oh, shit. Hey, okay. she was one of the original. Yeah. No, uh, so, yeah, yeah. So that's how I started talking to her again. I want to say you. that was like 13, 2013, 14, yeah. maybe. And then for some reason, we just, Click. you know, she was going through some things um, where she was touring, you know, when she was on the bus. Yeah. And then so we basically, just two two women's that are the out there industry. hustling. One's originally from Houston. One's from Cali. And you guys are your music endeavors of hustling is connecting together. You guys are vibing on the hustle yeah. mentalities because she was one of the original hustles of the game. For anybody who don't know, mm-hmm. she's sold prior million CDs, hustled million CDs. That's why now she's chilling, whatever she's doing. But she knew the game. She knew the business. She wasn't just an artist that just rapped and was like a puppet yeah, on the strings. Exactly. She knew who was the players. She knew about who's bootlegging. She knew about all the trickery. She knew about all the fakes, the reels. She was one out there putting in all the grind. Exactly. All the groundwork. So she's seen the reel yeah. where people didn't, some artists never even know, they don't even know themselves, but she knew more about some artists that knew about themselves because she's out there and she And that's knows. why I can relate to her because that was yeah. me. That's me out there by myself pushing my shit. You know what I mean? Like, Nobody's going to do that for you. You know, she she had a label. She had yeah. you guys, but I didn't have anybody. Yeah. So, but so that, but I respected that because I was like, man, there's not many of us who can even survive that. Yeah. Females, because it's just so hard of an industry. And she's very outspoken. And if someone is uh, basically up to some dirty tricks or someone who's no good, she's going to lay it on the line. There's mm-hmm. so many people in our own circle that I'm not going to even go there. Yeah. That she had to put online. There was guys that were on our tour bus that had bad you know you know allegations uh-huh. or something boom they got kicked out yeah these guys were straight killers on the streets and we had to turn our back on them because of the dirty stuff that yeah so she was very outspoken well, she sniffed out dirt she's like yeah. yeah she's quick to and i always say if, if anyone could run their mouth it's a female and she ran it she like let it know <laughs> like you yeah. know i'm a g we keep it quiet we don't talk too much but she would like expose it and let it be known and we're there for the you know if somebody wants to trip we're right here but yeah she was letting it know so speaking on that mm-hmm. so her being so outspoken and knowing that at this time you're already in a relationship with uh, SPM, correct? No. Oh, okay, you weren't, okay. You know what? I wasn't. I don't think I was. Mm. Okay, whether you were or were I don't think I was, but okay. I was. But I was but talking. We definitely, yes, we were Got definitely you. talking at the time, and I know that, that her and I discussed it yeah. off top. 
Yeah, right? so that's what I want to get to. Yeah. For her to be um, con- lit, uh, hanging out with you for her previous history of uh, exposing, I'm sure she bring up situations and you started coming to Cali and feeling the vibes of different people, mm-hmm. especially her because she's on that real tip. Yeah. And I'm sure she had a discussion about you, about his allegations and stuff like that. So how did that, how did that, um, did she bring that up eventually in time? How did that, um, I mean, you don't have to go in detail, but mm-hmm. she did bring it up to you, right? Yeah, well, she brought it up to me the first night we really hung out. Like okay, we just, me and her right. hung out. I think it was, Smitty was with me too. We were in Albuquerque, so... She brought it up to me the first night we hung out. So we got that when that discussion out of the way. Yeah. Because I feel like at the end of the day, like real recognize real. So we were just two real people like connecting, yeah. like and just being real with honest with each other. Yeah. And she respected my side and I respected her side. And after mm. that it was just like, Okay, we got this out of the way. You know what I mean? And we've been like more like Out family. of the way, but it still was lingering, right? So basically it's always been there. Yeah. It's always been there. Yeah. Because I know for a fact that that's when she was hanging out with you. And I, back of my head, I'm like, she's with this guy that has, you know, bad paperwork. I'm from Southern California. Um, and it's not about Southern California. I'm I'm just a, like, the paperwork is bad in, around the world. Like, I could go to UK. I could go to anywhere in the world and... The allegations that were put on forth were negative. So I seen her hanging out with you. And at that time, I already know that you guys were already in the communications with um, that um, artist, SPM. And uh, I even hit her up like, hey, what's going on with that? And she would tell me, yeah, I chop it up. And she's a female, so it's a different thing. But 